Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In the last video, we have seen how to load 4-bit quantized model of Llama 213 billion, using BitSandbytes library, for inferencing in Collab GPU. In today's video, we will learn what are GGML, GGUF and GPTQ type of models, and how to load them in CPU or GPU. So let's get started. First, look at a new type of quantization technique, GGML. GGML is a C library for machine learning that allows CPU inferencing. The GG refers to the initials of its originator, Georgi Jurganov. It defines a binary format for distributing large language models. To do that it uses quantization, a technique that allows LLMs to run on consumer hardware, with effective CPU inferencing. GGML supports a number of different quantization strategies, such as, 4-bit, 5-bit, and 8-bit quantization, each of which offers different trade-offs between efficiency and performance. Though GGML models are optimized to run on CPUs, with recent advancements, some layers can also be offloaded onto GPU, which made them accessible to a wider range of users. However, GGML had limitations in terms of adding additional information about the model, compatibility issues when new features are introduced, and required manual adjustments. To overcome these limitations, a new file format GGUF was introduced. GGUF, stands for George Greganov Unified Format, is designed to be extensible, allowing for the addition of new features, without breaking compatibility with older models. It is positioned as an upgrade to GGML, offering more flexibility, extensibility, and compatibility. GPTQ is a layer-wise quantization algorithm. It quantizes the weights of the LLM one by one in isolation. It converts the floating point parameters of each weight matrix into quantized integers, such that the error at the output is minimized. While GGML, GGUF models are optimized for CPU, GPTQ models are optimized for GPU. Remember that fine-tuning is not yet available for GGML, GGUF or GPTQ models, as of this date. Fortunately, many GGML, GGUF and GPTQ quantized models are directly available on the Hugging Face Hub. Most of them are quantized by The Bloke, a popular repo in the Hugging Face LLM community. A quick way to test, run and build apps with these quantized models is a Python binding, called C Transformers. This is a Python wrapper on top of GGML that takes away the boilerplate code for inferencing, by providing a high-level API. And for GPTQ models, we have Auto GPTQ library. Let's see how to load these models with C Transformers. First install the C Transformers library and import Auto model for causal LM from it. You don't need to import tokenizer separately because GGML or GGUF allows models to be shared in a single file, so there is no separate file for tokenizer. Let's take the GGUF model of Llama 213 billion model, from, the bloke, repo. Initialize auto model for causal LM class of transformers with necessary parameters, which include model ID, model file, and GPU layers. Model file refers to the specific k-bit quantized version of the model, where k can start from 2-bit and go up to 8-bit. Each k-bit quantized model again comes in three different sizes, small, medium and large. 2-bit quantized models are high-performant but with less qualitative results, whereas, 8-bit models are less performant but with high qualitative results. In general, 4-bit quantized models are preferred as they maintain trade-off between performance and quality. And the parameter, GPU layers, refers to the number of layers that you want to offload to GPU. In this case, I want to utilize only CPU for inferencing, so I have not offloaded any layers to GPU. As you can see, the model is loaded in 2 seconds. Let's call the LLM object with simple text completion prompt AI is going to. Here is the text completion given by the model. 
As you can see, it has only consumed 2 GB memory in the CPU, and the inferencing is also quite faster. Now, let's load a GPTQ model and evaluate it. First, install AutoGPTQ and Optimum Libraries. If you face issues like Xlama kernel is not installed, try installing AutoGPTQ from source using these set of commands. Next, import the Auto Tokenizer and Auto Model for Causal LM from Transformers Library. And we have taken the 13 billion GPTQ model of Llama 2 from the Bloke repo. Let's load the tokenizer and the model. It took one minute to load the model. And the model size is 7 gigabytes. I have given a simple prompt to explain about AI, and used the GPTQ model to generate response. As you can see, it is able to generate very detailed text about AI. It has consumed approximately 15 gigabytes of memory, and took 12 minutes to generate text. Now, let's look at the performance summary of all different model types that we have worked on. For all these experiments, we have used Llama 2, an open source model from Meta. You can use this experiment notebook as a template and try with other models. First, we have tried to load the Llama 2 model, which is the base model with 7 billion parameters. If you remember, we have used device map parameter and tried to load this model only on CPU, only on GPU and both CPU and GPU. If either of your CPU or GPU has 30 GB of memory, you can load this model and get inferences, but the problem is with the time taken for inferencing. While the model loading has taken just 2 minutes, inferencing has taken 10 minutes roughly. This is due to the size of the base model, and performing computations using full precision floating point numbers. Next. We have used BitSandbytes library and loaded a 4-bit quantized version of Llama 2, 13 billion parameters model. You can also load 8-bit quantized model with this library. And we have chosen half precision for all the computations. GPU is must for this library. It has roughly taken 15 gigabytes of memory, with 4 minutes model loading time and 1 minute inferencing time. This is comparatively faster than the base model, and that too for a 13 billion model. Next, we have tried to load the 13 billion model format of GGUF 4-bit quantized model. Remember that GGUF is an extended version of GGML. As we have learnt, this model is optimized for CPU usage, while a few layers can be offloaded onto GPU. It has just consumed 2 GB of CPU memory. And thanks to the lightweight of the GGUF models which has taken just 3 seconds to load the model, and roughly 50 seconds for inferencing. Next is the GPTQ format of the same model, which is optimized for GPU usage. It has consumed 15 GB of memory with 1 minute loading time and 12 minutes inferencing time. Overall, the GGUF models are quite performant, compared to any other model format. So in order to have small memory footprint and faster inferences, it is advised to convert base model or fine-tuned model into GGUF format, though there is a small to negligible drop in the quality of inferences. Note that the loading and inferencing times shown here may vary based on the type of machine you are using. In my case, I have used T4 GPU in Collab Pro version which comes with 66 GB of memory. That's it for this video. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, feel free to drop a comment. Please like and share the video. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to get updates on more tech insights. Stay tuned, and keep exploring.